What's up everybody? My name is Ryan and on Entirely Honest, I hope to improve your life by sharing the ways that I improve mine. And in this video, I wanted to share with you a super simple three minute breathing meditation that I've been using to help relax, remove stress and anxiety, boost my athletic performance, and increase my ability to focus. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So I'm not going to walk through the actual breathing meditation in this video itself. I'll actually leave a link up here and in the first link in the description um, to the guy named Wim Hof where I got the meditation from. So Wim is a really extravagant, eccentric character um, that's really into these breathing meditations, breathing exercises, and also like cold exposure uh, type of stuff for, for health and like the benefits that it brings. But in this video, I just wanted to share uh, this simple breathing meditation from him that I've been using a lot and it's been really beneficial for me. And so yeah, I first heard about Wim a little while ago. I saw him on some different podcasts. He's very eccentric and very enthusiastic about the, the work that he does. And he's just like a really interesting character. So I decided to rent his book from the library. Uh, the book is called Wim Hof Method. And I read his story, his life story about like how he got to like where he is. And there's just some really interesting things that I learned about in that book. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in Wim Hof or like these type of breathing meditations, I do recommend reading it. It's a very short book. It's a little bit repetitive, um, but it definitely has some like interesting information. And um, yeah, some like kind of like mind blowing stuff um, in regards to like the experiments that he did and like what, what he was able, what he's able to accomplish just through like breathing and cold exposure um, in his body. So. So yeah, he's kind of like a little bit of a stunt man in a way, like he does some like crazy stuff where like he's submerged in like ice. Um, but I wanted to share this meditation specifically um, because it's one that I've found that in my personal life, it's just been really beneficial and it's like just a really useful tool for me, um, depending on whatever I'm going through, like if I'm really anxious or stressed, or even most recently I found that like, I was kind of like in like a little bit of a rut for a couple days and uh, just doing a few rounds of this breathing kind of just really helped. Um, reset me and like kind of like allow me to like refocus and kind of like pull myself out of that rut. So it is a really beneficial uh, breathing meditation and I did want to share it on this channel because I think it could help a lot of people. Um, but yeah, so there is some like disclaimers with it and like he talks about it in the book. Um, but yeah, there is a safety video that you should watch before you do the meditation that he talks about. Um, so I'll also link that safety video down in the description below. And um, he also just, there's some sections in the book where he recommended um, people with certain like heart conditions and stuff to like not do this. Um, so yeah, I'll see if I can put those like disclaimers from the book as well down in the description. But um, yeah, with all that aside and just kind of like the introduction to the Wim Hof method aside, I did want to share a little bit about like how I use it personally. Um, so one of my favorite ways to use it is right before I go to bed. Um, I've had some issues in the past with like clenching my teeth or, or grinding my teeth at night and um, that's usually when I'm just like anxious or, or going through a stressful period and I found doing this breathing meditation before bed just really helps like relax me and like calm me down and allow me to like get a good night's sleep without, uh, without clenching my teeth. So that's probably like one of the biggest ways that I use it and, um, and then like before what I was saying like just helping myself like relax. Um, or get myself out of a, a rut throughout the day. So I've also noticed that this breathing meditation is really good to do before exercise because for myself I found that when I do it before I exercise I just feel like stronger and it takes longer for me to get tired uh, during the exercise so I thought that was really interesting and also like at nighttime when I'm doing it like in bed before I go to sleep I like to think about the areas in my body that like are maybe like sore or like injured like if I'm dealing with an injury like I like to think about that especially when I'm doing like the hold part of the meditation where you like hold your breath I like to like think about that area and think about it like healing and I don't know if it works or not but it just does like feel good and like sometimes that area will like tingle when I'm thinking about it um, so that's just something else that is interesting um, but yeah, like there is just different applications that I use it for and like I said, it's just like a really useful tool and um, I probably don't do it as much as I should be to be honest like even though I do know like the benefits and like of it Like I do find myself sometimes experiencing like a lot of resistance to like want to do it um, And during that times I usually during those times I usually just try to be, remind myself that like every time you do this you feel like way better afterwards and that usually helps motivate me to actually uh, do it. 
So yeah, it's just been really beneficial tool and thing to do for myself and I thought I'd share it with you guys um, because I think it might help you guys as well. I have also shared this breathing meditation with some people in my personal life and most of the people that I've shared it with have really enjoyed it and really liked doing the breathing meditation. So perhaps if you know somebody in your life that might be into this kind of thing, um, definitely share this video with them uh, because you might be able to help them out as well. And uh, yeah, that's it. I just wanted to sh make this short video to share this with you guys. And I hope you guys try it out. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments below if you do end up trying it out. And uh, yeah, that's about it for this week. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. I make new videos about self-improvement every single week. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Peace. I also just wanted to sneak in a quick journey to 10 kilometer update at the end of this video. So if you haven't seen my last two videos, they've both been journey to 10 kilometer updates. And in my most recent one, I actually kind of like laid out the, the roadmap for the rest of my journey so that I could do that 10 kilometer run by the end of the year. And it essentially required me to do an extra half kilometer each week until the end of the year. So I actually just did my run uh, today and it was 28 minutes and 45 seconds. I was able to do 5.52 kilometers and that pace was five minutes and 12 seconds. So for any of you guys that are following my journey, I did just want to give you a quick little update. And um, my pace was kind of inconsistent between the kilometers, but I'll throw up um, the little uh, graph from my watch so you could see what, uh, how long each kilometer took me. But, but yeah, this is the longest run distance-wise that I've ever done in my life. And I'm pretty proud of the time, like 28 minutes and 45 seconds is pretty good for five and a half K. So, so yeah, it's uh, been feeling good. My feet are a little bit sore after that run, um, but I did just want to sneak in this little journey to 10 kilometer update for anybody that is following. So that's about it. I'll let you go for real this time and I'll see you next week. Peace.